Hello everybody. I hope you're all doing fine and thank you for watching this video. What I got today is a new adapter, analog adapter for the DJI Dagos. This one costs about 12 bucks. Uh, it is made by our RC. And that's the way it comes in. It's just a regular plastic bag. And let's see what you get in the package. You do get a face plate for the hour module. A little mounting board that's what gonna help you attach the whole system to your DJI Gago. Uh, some auxiliary channel cable, a power cable, and those are 3.5 millimeter in case you wonder. A set of screws and the adapter itself. This is pretty much what's gonna be doing all the work. Uh, the adapter look pretty simple, and uh, the setup is also very simple. Uh, the plug in the bottom section here that's why you're gonna plug in your power cable and this is gonna feed your DJ Gago and your auxiliary channels your auxiliary cable is gonna go right in here and that's gonna go to your DJ Gagos and the top plug on top here it's where you're gonna plug in your lapo or whatever battery you use it does take two to four s so pretty much you plug in your battery it feed the adapter and the actor also the adapter gonna feed the power to your DJ goggles look like a pretty simple setup uh, let me put it in on my goggle I'm gonna start by taking the screw off on the side of the gaggle I mean it really doesn't matter which order you do this it's pretty simple one of the things I like about using this adapter you don't have to open your whole gaggle to sort of stuff in so you don't have to void your warranty Now this little plastic board here, I think it's supposed to sit this way. That's how it's going to sit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, let me see if I'll be able to do that on the camera. So you get your screw. That's going to go in here. And that should work. And again, that the guys, the order in which you do this really doesn't matter. In there, so that's how it's gonna look like. You got your mounting board on the side, and now we're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. That's where those screws gonna go in. Okay, guys, that's how it's sitting. Uh, I'm not too worried about the board coming in contact with the plastic portion of the DJ Gago since it's plastic, it's not conductive, so you're not gonna mess up anything. And there is plenty of plenty of space, so you should not come in contact with that. But that's pretty much the way it's sitting. Very simple setup. I do have our module here so what I'm gonna do is once you put the first plate on top there's really nothing to hold it in place because those were designed for the fat chuck so what I'm using is some extra nuts from some antenna that I have that I'm not using right now I'm gonna put those in and that should keep the face plate in place Let's put it in place and let's just go over here. That's how it's gonna look when it's completely done. And I actually wish they had some kind of cover, like a 3D mounted cover, some plastic to cover this whole open area here. But I think maybe they left it open in case 
uh, to reduce heat but now from here the only thing you have to do is plug in this one going the bottom get a plug here you got your auxiliary channel cable that goes in here and this goes on your gago just like this right. seem to be have some space issues with it. Uh, this go right here Get it. There we go. So that's how it look like. Not too bad, but again, there are, the one thing I like about this setup is you do not you do not have to open your goggles and sort of stuff inside. And a lapel batteries cable go on top. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. I mean. Uh, the whole installation should take you less than five minutes. It takes me a little longer since I had to do it and I try to do it with the camera on, on it. Now we're gonna plug in our battery. Okay. As you can see, it's on. A little change of scenery here. The battery on the camera died on me. I'm done with the installation. Adapter look pretty nice. I got the antenna in. Poles about the adapter is that it's pretty cheap. Installation is very easy. You don't need to open your goggles or do anything to your goggles. It is pretty much a add-on. Also, you don't need to run both the adapter and the goggles on together if you're not using analog. You can power your goggles without powering the adapter. One way you can do that is just by taking the module off. But I don't like to do that because you risk you run into the risk of breaking your pins. Another way you can do that is just take your battery power off the adapter and connect it directly into your goggle. That will power your goggles and keep your adapter off. Uh, another good thing about the adapter, you take any fat shark module, it's not limited to the ROC module, so that's neat. And one of the drawbacks is if you have small hands like I do, kind of make it harder to reach the button on top of your DJI gago. And also, you gotta be careful how you handle your goggles because the whole thing is kind of on the outside, kind of hanging out, so. You may end up breaking it, which I think is still gonna be kind of hard to do, but you just have to be careful how you handle it. And of course, you do have the little space around here, but I think the space is mostly for aeration to keep your module cold. Cold. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It's a pretty neat piece of add-on, and for very cheap. Thank you guys for watching.